Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I am Eva Polak and I am excited to kick off our 10-part series on problems in ICM. In this video, we will explore some practical tips to strike the perfect balance between motion and clarity. So, let's get started. Intentional camera movement is a fantastic technique for creating captivating and artistic photos. However, when we overdo it, our images can lose the impact we desire. To avoid this, we need to find the sweet spot between movement and clarity. Here are some tips to help you capture stunning intentional camera movement shots without compromising clarity. Let's start with the basics. Ensure a firm grip on your camera. During the exposure, try holding your breath to minimize any unintentional shakes that might lead to unwanted blur. Remember, the key is to preserve some details in your shots. Minor movement can add a touch of artistic flair, while excessive movements will transform your images into abstract colors and shapes. Experiment with different levels of movement to achieve the desired effect and unleash your creativity. When it comes to intentional camera movement, one of the critical factors to consider is your shutter speed. The duration of exposure directly influences the amount of blur in your shot. If you opt for a longer shutter speed, the blur will become more pronounced, adding a sense of fluidity and artistic motion to your images. However, be mindful of the lenses you use. Wide-angle lenses work exceptionally well with longer exposures as they tend to complement the movement, resulting in captivating visual effects. On the other hand, telephoto lenses will exaggerate camera movements, potentially leading to overly distorted and chaotic images. To strike the perfect balance between motion and clarity, it is essential to experiment with various shutter speed and lenses. Start with a shutter speed of around 1 15 of a second as a baseline and then capture a series of shots at different speeds to gauge the impact on your photos. Observe how each setting influences the final outcome and how they interact with your chosen lens. Remember, there is no one-size-fits-all approach. The idle shutter speed and lens combination depends on your artistic vision and the specific scene you are capturing. So don't hesitate to explore and push the boundaries of your creativity. With practice and experimentation, you will discover the perfect blend of motion and clarity to truly bring your intentional camera movement shots to life. Beyond the shutter speed, your aperture setting is another critical player in achieving the perfect balance between motion and clarity. This often overlooked aspect can significantly impact the overall look and feel of your intentional camera movement shots. By adjusting the aperture, represented by the f-stop number, you can manipulate the depth of field and create specific visual effects. When you opt for a smaller aperture, indicated by higher f-stop number like f16 or f22, the depth of field increases, making it easier to retain sharpness in the image despite of camera movement. Before you dive into capturing your images, Try some guided intentional camera movement. Follow a path of a subject's movement while moving your camera at a consistent pace. 
This will help you to get a feel for right amount of movement needed to achieve the desired effect. And there you have it. By stabilizing your camera, adjusting your shutter speed and aperture, and practicing with guided movement, you can conquer the problem of your images being too blurry. Remember, it's all about finding that perfect balance to create visually stunning photos. Before we conclude this video, I want to remind you that this is just the first part of our series on common problems with ICM. So make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on the upcoming parts of this exciting series. Feel free to leave your question or share your own tips in the comments below. See you in the next video.